Hello Scorpio friends, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your October reading. I'll do a past, present, near future energy reading between you and your special someone, the person that you have on your mind at this time and how they think and feel about you. Now of course this isn't going to resonate for all of you. The energies that do come through that I pick up on or that I sense and feel from this reading isn't going to resonate for every single damn scorpion out there. That would just be ridiculous and impossible however if this is your energy you know try to get a little specific i'll clarify as i go you'll know you'll know the shoe fits or not maybe to the at till the end of the reading you'll find out if this is actually you whose energy i'm picking up and if it's the case if it's you just now have no control over it this is a general reading however if you do want to go into the reading more specifically to look at these matters privately what the person actually thinks and feels about you your specific person you can request for a personal reading my email is in the description box below this video and you can also book the lover special for only $33.33 using my paypal link which is also in the description box below as well but let's get to this reading now let's get to the fun part it did take me a little bit of time to get the cards out and ready Scorpio that's why you see it you see it all laid out already I meditated I was shuffling this deck for a good seven minutes till I was just like okay I started laughing to myself like who is really going to watch me shuffle for seven minutes when maybe the reading won't even be that long <laughs> So I decided, you know, instead of people clicking off and losing out on the information that I'm picking up from the reading, why not just start from here? But just know the cards that are actually out and before us right now are the jumper cards that did come out. And it was really interesting here, Scorpio, when I was doing that because I was actually recording when I was shuffling and getting these cards ready and getting these cards out. I was talking to you guys, telling you guys that the strength card kept showing up <clears throat> or the strength card kept calling to me and it kept telling me to focus on it and it in a way was telling me that you know there were some hard feelings still there were still feelings here but somebody was really holding back so here we go in your recent or distant past Scorpio who could have been dealing with an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Gemini, another Scorpio, I have Pisces, I have Aries, I have Libra, Aquarius, I have Leo, okay? So these signs that I just named could be your person's sign in their chart or in yours. But I see here, uh, there was something said on text, on email, on paper or in writing i don't know okay there was a message here that somebody had given to the other i'm talking about your special someone i feel like the the thing that was said was kind of a little bit of a low blow kind of a, a little bit below the belt and i don't think you were too proud of that i don't think if maybe they're too proud of it was if it was them who said it to you maybe both of you guys said some things to each other which is was which was a little bit below the belt and kind of left a little bit of a bitter taste in your mouth afterwards but see that's the interesting part when i was getting the strength energy coming out so strongly because instead of what i normally feel and what i what i know the strength card to be it wasn't exactly the strength card definition actually spirit was really showing me it was everything in your body everything of your well-being pretty much was pointing to this person but with the strength card coming out it was just this inner resolve that you had to come to find within yourself you couldn't that inner resolve you know, whether you walk away, let this be the end all be all, or you really had to come to terms and really look at this situation head on, facts only, from a logical perspective with no emotions intact, to really put this whole situation away for once and for all. 
that inner resolve, you know, or that feeling here, if it wasn't that, I don't know, it's just there was a really conflicting inner resolve, because there was still a part of you that was telling you, there is just no one else that's going to be, you'll, you'll never find anyone that's like this person, you know, that it was just, it just felt so faded, everything about this person, yeah, they have their flaws, yeah, they have a million things that you wish they didn't do, didn't say, or could be, or could do better, there's just like this intense attraction, it's almost a magnetic attraction, I don't know if it's lustful, I don't know if it's just their physical features, I don't know if it's the way they carry themselves, I don't know if it's just, just their whole overall being, but every part of you, screams them yes it's them but for whatever reason it didn't work out is what i'm seeing from the recent in the recent or distant past you know with this guy sending out a letter it almost seems like he's sending out a fax but it's more like he's reading something with that little smirk that he has he almost feels like oh yeah well fine you think you can do it on your own fine you want to do this to me we'll see who who pays for it in the end we'll see you know who's really really you know there's that a little bit like i told you someone kind of went a little bit below the belt there's a little bit of pettiness in there okay you just gotta call it like it is and i feel like in that person's defense even though i'm not trying to defend them if you know they did do something that was a little bit shocking i mean i don't really get see not in this reading i don't feel like it's that hurtful i just really feel like this person did what they did or said what they said because they were coming from a hurt place you know a place of feeling rejected not wanted or feeling a little bit slightly taken advantage of but the energies here show me and the current energies between you both and the energies that are currently in the making that the two of you, even though apart, even though not speaking to each other at this time, and if you guys are, I'm getting it's very little to none, that the both of you still feel like it's this person. You know what I mean? It's like that person. I really do get a third party vibe. So somebody here may have also moved on very quickly. You might have found out about their new person and as distasteful, as odd, as a little bit in disbelief, you're also not too shocked or surprised that they would do this or do this or rebound so quickly or be with the person that maybe it's the person that they're with it's a little bit shocking to you not so much that they are dating somebody else because you're looking at the person they're with like really really okay and so you kind of don't even know what to say or what to think about your person right now because you think okay maybe they just are codependent they just have to be with someone because this doesn't even feel like the person that you just it just doesn't make any sense it just screams like oh, wtf you know but you're not exactly jealous. You're just kind of taking a few steps back. Like, you know, you, you do your thing. Okay, boo, you do your thing. You're going to probably come back around. This is a little bit cocky to say that. But I kind of feel like even though whatever it is going on between the two of you, like the energies here shows that that person, that feeling a little bit cocky, like, yeah, this person's going to come around. I don't think their relationship is really going to last where they're probably just in a very codependent situation right now. It's just trying to ring bound off of anything or anyone. I really do get that this person's actually kind of right for thinking that. We will clarify this energy here, okay? In the, in the actual surrounding energy here with the hangman and the knight of cups. Yeah, there's still some confusion here. Maybe about a Pisces. Maybe this is a strong Piscean energy in here. There's also a Cancer and also obviously Scorpio. I do have you guys here. The king of goblets. The king of cups. Okay. That's you, Scorpio. He or she doesn't matter. You guys could be dating another water sign or the another water sign is currently involved. But I just really feel like you're looking at your person's new person. Like if that's if, if you if you know your person's moved on, of course this isn't the case for everyone. But for those who I am picking up that situation here because it's coming out in the reading, you're looking at them like 
Yeah, okay. I don't know what my person is doing right now, but <clears throat> I mean, if you say so. If he or she is happy, okay, fine, but something just screams a little bit desperate or maybe they're trying to prove a point. I mean, from the looks of things, you might be actually thinking a little bit confused, like, wait, are they actually falling in love? Are they actually serious? about this person because they seem to be bragging and they seem to be showing off this person or telling the whole world how happy they are right this new full energy that they have like they're just living the best life ever right now but you know there's a part of you here if it's not you it's your person feeling that way it's just someone here is just like I don't know, man. There's something maybe done under the table. Something feels a little bit off. It kind of feels like maybe they're just codependent. Maybe they have to act like this right now so that, you know, someone here can take care of them. Um, you know, this is the Six of Pentacles energy here. You know, need something, give something kind of thing. You don't actually believe it's love. You maybe just feel like this person maybe just literally rebounded to somebody else to try to make a point. Because the two of you had a falling out. They're probably trying to make it or make it a point or make a huge scene or make let everyone know that they don't need you, that they don't, they're not stuck on you, that they're not thinking about you. They got their own new boo here. Even though, you know, this person and them um, kind of don't even really make any sense. You know, it's kind of like a teacher student vibe. It's not, you guys are like, they're not even on the same level of some sort of way. It's just, it's a little bit off. Maybe this literally could be like a student teacher or student professor or like their boss and employee. You know, there's like a different, um, it literally could be that, but this is how someone's feeling. Like, I just don't really believe it, okay? I will clarify this energy. This energy is actually getting pretty interesting here. But what I'm seeing right now for how they're seeing the situation here, Scorpio, is that I don't know if this was a huge learning card for them because that's kind of how they see it. They have the, the apprenticeship card. Like they learned a lot from this. They changed their whole different person. Okay, and they don't want to admit to you um, how kind of, I don't know, in a way they kind of feel like you guys both have this energy here of like, I don't feel so proud of of whatever it is that happened like I you know let's just not even talk about that let's just move on your incoming energies and the energies coming towards you guys and then in the near future we do have the page of Pentacles I do get another message let's clarify this let's clarify it <clears throat> you know let's I see this is a new person that came in either for you or for your person. There is a very strong third party vibe, third party energy in this reading. I do get that it's these two people who make the perfect care. They actually look better together. Their energies are the same. The intensity that they have for each other. These two feel more of a twin flame connection. It's intense. Like these two look like a couple, feels like a couple. If you were to see them across the street, you would think they have been with each other forever. They're like two peas in a pod. Perfect. But then either he's now with him or he's with her. It doesn't matter he or she, or he's now with him or her or she. Okay. Just the pronouns don't really matter. But you see what I mean? I'm kind of getting here now. It's interesting. Perhaps literally the fact that I'm doing this is that you guys both are actually seeing or dating other people now. But it just doesn't fit. And you guys for some reason see that on social media. Maybe you know the person that they're dating, they're seeing, or they see it, or they have literally seen you in person with this person. And they just like, what the hell? But see, the strength card shows me, which is interesting here, Scorpio, is that you guys both 
feel this intensity for each other but i don't think much is being said about it but so interesting here we have this page of pentacles something's gonna be seen someone's gonna catch someone's attention i do feel like you're on this person's mind they're gonna see something they're gonna find out about something or you will okay can be ignored let's see what this is And not, it won't be ignored. It's it's the lovers. Wow, Scorpio. <clears throat> this thing is a joke. I mean, uh, how do I say it? Whatever it is that they're this person is doing right now, it's it's just I, I just I feel like this is a joke. This relationship is a joke. Their third party is a joke. They don't actually believe it's a joke right now. I mean, seriously, if it's the cross watcher that's dating somebody else, they don't actually believe this is a joke. They actually believe that this person that they are infatuated dating or seeing or talking to actually could be the next best thing. But no, I actually don't feel it's like almost like they're forcing, convincing that they can actually love this person. It's like they'd rather be with this person than single. What if they die alone? You know, they might as well be with this person. Or it could be literally you and how they see things. But it's, not, it's nothing like the way they feel for you. <clears throat> Let's take a look here. I'm going to clarify each of these. Okay. Because I get that the both of you are kind of both suspicious. Like, can I actually believe it? You know, that's that's really what I'm getting here. Because you're like, hey, they started a new beginning. I might as well too. But what I'm seeing right now, I'm not fully convinced that they've moved on or they are actually in love with this person or can actually have a, a future together. I feel like they're doing this to get back at me or in a way just to create some kind of attention on them just to make maybe move, prove a point that they're all fine and well they don't need and they don't need me or they don't need you or whoever this is but you feel like it's a very transactional thing that they're doing that they're getting something out of this maybe you should maybe do something too to kind of i don't know it's like both of you guys the energy is here that i'm feeling is like you know what i mean that's why i was like it feels fake it feels but it doesn't really feel fake either Oh, this is confusing. But let me take a look here at the energies that are currently in the making and what does spirit have to say about this. Definitely reach out for a reading if you want to take a look into how your person actually feels about you, thinks of you, the energy is going on right now between you and your person, what the spirit guides want to say about your connection. We can do so in your personal reading. And let's do one more card for the outcome. <clears throat> We have the Six of Swords. The Nine of Wands. The Four of Swords for that person. The King of Swords. The King of Wands reversed. And the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you know, to me as a reader right now, nothing part of this energy here and the surrounding for how this person feels about you them their new person screams i'm in love it still shows me the heavy burdens of whatever it is that happened to them the ten and the nine of swords obviously something's still on their mind meaning you obviously something here is still kind of you know they're still in that heavier heavier place you see that the nine and ten of swords Okay, does not scream to me, I'm in love, you know, I'm on cloud nine, I'm living the, I mean, look at these two people, he's just, they, they're just like, yeah, fine, whatever, the four of swords talks about, yeah, just, just kind of leave me alone right now, you know, this is almost kind of like dating somebody just to get into a relationship, just to not be alone. Because you see these two people, which is really interesting. These two people are the same two people right here. The King of Wands and the King of Cups. We have the King of Swords right here. These are the people right here. Oh, sorry. You guys couldn't actually see the bottom of the cards. Okay. These are the two people right here. Spirit is showing me that, yeah, 
even though someone here is you or them dating other people right now in this particular reading is showing they're not actually happy with them it's still you in their heart space let me take a look here on what the strength card is what is it that they feel right now with strength why is it so difficult for them <clears throat> and i got this deck i love it uh shout out to laura bowen it's not sponsored by the way i actually found this when i was scrolling through youtube and i just love the imagery i mean look at the the artwork it's just all handmade i love everything oceanic and it's just beautiful it's like an oracle deck i thought you know it might be good for us to explore and dive into our deeper emotions about what really is going on beneath the surface of this reading and here we have oh there's a lot okay <clears throat> we have a lot here see the strength card and the innovation what is this person doing trying to be inventive when especially especially when you find yourself frustrated and unable to make any real progress i'm telling you that's the energy that i was picking up here why this person was having the strength because they were not finding this inner resolve to really move on it really feels like this third party isn't actually somebody who they're in love with, who they're serious about. Feels more of a rebound situation here. Could be you, Scorpio. Could be them. Could be the third party that's doing this. Okay. Um, but that's that's the energy, that's the story, that's the narrative. That's the thing I'm getting in this reading, and that's what I'm going to tell you guys. Alright, Scorpio. Hope this reading helped, but in the future, you guys, we have the lovers. And we have the Page of Pentacles. I really love that. Okay, these are two people who had a falling out. Who are seeing, you know, we do belong together. We are actually the right fit. Not with these two people. These just, this just doesn't, just doesn't fit right. This doesn't fit right. Yeah, for the most part, I do feel like they are pretty similar, right? You kind of get like a they kind of you know they might like the same thing you know they might have studied the same thing work in the same place they might like to frequent the same bars or the same eat the same food but it's just not that 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 feeling here of these two people that i'm getting here these two people <clears throat> okay let's get one more card for these two people oh that was fast I wasn't really ready now, but I do want to take a look and see what spirit draw for you guys. See these two people with the eight of swords. Okay, Scorpio, before I make your reading too long, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. Feel that page of pentacles again. Feel the nine of cups, wish fulfillment. And we have justice. Mm, see, there's something here that was said that was done that someone here feels like, I need to do this to this person as punishment. I'm also kind of getting that. It could be you, it could be them, or the third party. All right, Scorpio, if you guys want a personal reading, go ahead and reach out to me. Thank you guys so much for your time. I really enjoyed your reading here today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.